Wolves first quarter. It's going to be a pretty dour struggle here at the Western Oval today. I think both sides very anxious to uh, uh, win this game, of course, because uh, a stake in the five is there for the offing if uh, the side can win. They're right, they're still in. Now the centre square infringement with Footscray leading by uh, six points and it's going the Bulldogs way to Purser. Purser wide at the centre square to half forward. Chance there for Crow. He missed it under pressure from Ruse. Comes out. Cooper will try to get it out of the pack. That's Blakey trying to get it out. It comes out uh, wide to uh, Crow who shoots for goal. That's a magnificent goal. Great uh, bit of play there by Crow. He knew exactly what was going on, and I noticed that Royal tapped uh, Rance on the rump, so Rance must have pushed it out of that pack. I couldn't quite pick up the player, and Crow did the rest. Well, big lump of a man, Max Crow. He's certainly an acquisition to Footscray, uh, because if uh, Andrew Purser, if anything happens to him, at least they have the size of the big number six to take over. Footscray three straight, lead Fitzroy one straight. Purser gets the tap down, it goes to... Now to uh, Footscray, as Tilly gets the tap down, it goes through Hardy's legs. Clayton trying to get the ball clear for Fitzroy. And uh, I think that's about all umpire Russo could do, would be to call for the ball and we'll have a bounce back in the centre. Players around the centre bounce, Clayton, Tilly, Steve McPherson, Purser for Footscray. Great knockout, Baxter it is, takes it. Kicks a quick one up to half forward. Oh, good roving there by Crow. Crow will go goalwards with a long bomb. Is it online? Yes. Another goal to the Bullies. They're seventh in the first quarter. And it has only been underway for 21 minutes. And Footscray, seven goals straight. 42, lead Fitzroy, 2-1, 13. Second goal to Max Crow. Two goals each to Crow, Royal and Petraglia for Footscray. One to McLean and single goals to Barwick and Keane for Fitzroy. Centre bounce, what can Fitzroy do as Tilly gets the tap down? McIver rebounds off uh, a teammate in Harris, but away go Footscray again. Little lucky there, but Royal has it and drives Goldwood. Chance there for Crow and Crow has taken the mark. Gray can do no wrong. Max Crow, who's kicked two magnificent goals from about 50 metres out, now has a chance to put one through from about uh, 15 metres. This will be his uh, fifth kick. Comes in now, shoots for goal, and he's put it through. And that's Max Crow's third. And what a quarter it's been for Footscray. Fitzroy have got a few problems up there in defence because Gary Pert has his hands full with Simon Beasley and Paul Roos certainly has a big job on Max Crow. Both Beasley and Crow slightly taller than their opponents and very, very good with their hands. Footscray, eight goals straight. Fitzroy, 2-1. Purser are going to do the two, but Fitzroy trail miserably. They're 56 points behind. Purser and Tilly. Purser's had the better of Tilly most of the afternoon. Egan picks up the crumbs. He's played well on half back. Gets it across to Petraglia, and Petraglia marks against the attention of Pekin. Petraglia over the top goes to Malin. Malin looking for the hand pass, but now goes back and decides to kick play on, says the umpire. Malin kicks it in short, where Crow's taken a well-judged mark in front of Ruse, who is now in short sleeves. Crow with the chance to kick his fourth goal. He's about 40 metres out directly in front. And this could be Footscray's 17th goal. The result of the match probably never in doubt since the first quarter. Crow punts for goal, straight over the goal umpire's head, another goal to the Bulldogs, Max Crow four, and Footscray go marching on 
to a 62-point advantage, which is what they started this final quarter with. 17-7 plays 7-5. Wonder if uh, Max Crow is the difference to the poor form of Footscray in the early part of this season. Surely it couldn't be just one man, but Brian Royal is also.